Many of you watching this video dream of moving to New York City, but is it worth the cost of admission? Today we'll be breaking down some of the most common prices to live in one of the world's most expensive cities. You don't wanna miss it. Normally Adriana and I make our own breakfast in the morning. We'll do something like eggs, avocado, orange juice. But for the sake of this video, let's say you don't cook at all. You can go to any bodega deli in New York City or the most famous breakfast sandwich there is the bacon, egg, and cheese, or if you're gonna order it right, you say bacon, egg, and cheese, like one word, $4.99 at the local deli, and it is absolutely delicious. By far the biggest expense for any New Yorker is rent. We pay $2,500 a month to live in Park Slope, Brooklyn, and I think this is the ideal neighborhood for my current life situation, married, don't have any kids, it's perfect. It has really everything at our fingertips. We're about a 20 minute subway ride from lower Manhattan. Generally speaking, if you live in Brooklyn or Queens and you're within a 30 minute subway ride of either lower or midtown Manhattan, that is where the rents will be the highest. The average rent in December 2021 for a Manhattan apartment was $3,392 a month. Now that's not to say you couldn't move to New York City and find a much cheaper apartment. I've seen people get studios in Manhattan for as low as $1,700, $1,800 a month generally speaking, dungeons without much light. Rent is expensive in the most popular neighborhoods. Generally speaking, in New York City, you do not pay for your heat or your hot water. And our gas bill is very low. We spent $21 in the month of November, and that was almost all entirely from cooking related costs. Now I've seen videos about the cost of living in Europe where people spend over $100 a month on their gas bill because that goes and covers the heat we spent $48 on our electric bill in November. We don't spend a lot of money on electricity here unless it's the summer. That's the issue when you put in an air conditioner that can drive up your electricity bill another $50 a month depending how much you use it. And with the hot humid summers here, we use it quite a bit from about June to September have unlimited data with Verizon. I spend $84 a month on my own plan. Now, if you move to the US, you move to New York, you can get way cheaper cell phone plans, easily $40, $50 a month, potentially even less, depending on what company you use and how much data you have. We spend $49 a month for Spectrum Internet. I think that's an okay price. We get 400 Mbps. I haven't paid for cable in over five years. We just stream stuff. So I have Netflix for $15. 49 cents a month. We've got Adriana here with a couple of expenses that she really keeps on top of. The first one's laundry. In New York, not everybody has a laundry machine. It's a very common thing. So if we do regular laundry, it's normally every machine $3 for the washer and $2 for the dryer. So it could be between $10 and $16, something like that. For shopping, we do also shopping every week. And I cook a lot at home. So we do breakfast, lunch and dinner, probably from four to five days a week. And we spend between 90 to $20. We are gonna show you what the cost is at the supermarket in just a little bit for some particular items. We just went to our favorite coffee shop in Park Slope, $4 for a small latte. Now, you can get coffee a lot cheaper in the city, any bodega or deli, get it for a few dollars. But if you want something a little bit higher in quality, you're probably gonna be spending in the $3 to $4.50, $5 range. This is not my dentist. I go to a dentist in Manhattan and it is very expensive. It cost me $200 for my last cleaning and $370 to get a filling replaced. Going to the gym in New York City, you can actually get very reasonable rates. I pay just $20 a month for my gym and I get everything that I need there. Now you can go up to cost like $200 a month to go to Equinox and have personal trainers and such. $9.99 for organic strawberries. $8.99 non-organic strawberries. For my Europeans watching, $2.59, $2.99, 18 pack of eggs. I actually think that's a pretty decent price. A little under a pound of sirloin steak, $7.56. Half gallon of milk, $2.69. This is the most expensive item, in my opinion, in the supermarket, $12.99 for a pound of salmon. $4.49, my brother's favorite chips. 
in the US. Something we don't discuss enough on this channel is lunch specials. And it's not just in my part of Brooklyn. This is available in Manhattan, so many restaurants. Going out for lunch instead of going out for dinner. I got this two sushi roll and soup and salad for $11.25, which I think is a fantastic deal for the area. Adriana got a $12.95 bento box. And this is a step up over doing, you know, my typical cheap eats crawl. You actually go out, you're at a restaurant, make a, a little date out of it. One of the best values you get in New York City is a single subway swipe, $2.75. I mean, this takes you anywhere you pretty much want to go. Now, I actually don't get a weekly pass because I don't think I use it enough. Shockingly, with all the videos I make, a seven-day pass would cost you $33. A 30-day unlimited pass would cost you $127. And that's for the, the serious commuter out there. What do you think of the New York City subway as somebody that moved here from another country? Well, it depends. If you come from where I come from, where we don't have a subway, it's life-changing. I love it. But if you come from Japan, maybe you're gonna be scared. <laughs> it's gonna be a little dirtier. <laughs> heard people in Europe have to pay $100 for a pair of jeans. I think this is a great deal for $39. $18 for this. Going off season and buying a t-shirt, nice. I normally go to vintage stores to second hand shops, thrift shops, and you get a lot with like $100. Kind of like a dress. And it's 60% off, it's 100, so it means it's $40. I think it's a good price. How much for a pair of jeans? 42. This restaurant is so unique because it's located inside of an old bank vault from 1904. I decided to use Trinity Place as my bar as well because they do have a separate bar. Beer here is $9. This is standard New York price. Adriana ordered a Kona Lager. Look, I've seen beer as cheap as $3 for a Tecate in Bushwick before. The cocktail, $16 for an Aperol Spritz. This is very expensive for New York. You rarely see cocktails over 15 bucks. And to be honest, while it's strong, I've had better. Careful on cocktails in New York. Sometimes you're not sure exactly what you're gonna get. This entree is $26, and I would say average entrees at reasonable restaurants in Manhattan would be, I don't know, like 18 to $30. Try it. I would say you're definitely paying for the ambiance here. I'll leave it at that. If you're curious how much a night out in Manhattan costs, like it can be expensive. I'll just give you a quick example. We went to Koreatown last weekend, went out for karaoke. Two hours of karaoke and a lot of bottles of soju later. It was $52 a person. You add up enough $9 beers and 11 to $15 mixed drinks with tip and you're gonna spend a ton of money. Check out our Moving to New York City playlist linked right here. Special thanks to my Patreon members for helping support everything that we paid for in this video. Guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, till next time.